When Metro Cebu was placed under modified general community quarantine, different measures were taken by each city to prevent the resurgence of COVID-19 cases. Luan Mayrondina of GMA Regional TV Balitang Bisdak for the details live. Luan? Yes, CJ, in Cebu City, many welcomed the more relaxed quarantine status. However, as a safety measure to control the movement of the people, city officials decreed the continued use of quarantine passes. On its first day under MGCQ, more people and vehicles were seen on the streets of Cebu City. Anticipating the increase of people going out of their houses, the Cebu City LGU saw the need to control the movement of its residents by requiring the use of quarantine passes. With this, residents cannot go out on any given day. Market schedule is also regulated. The public had varied reactions on these directives, but almost all are happy with the downgrade of the quarantine status. Many are hoping to see more public transportation vehicles plying the streets of Cebu City. Taxi drivers can only hope for better days now that they are allowed to resume operations. But a local IATF official, however, clarified that PNP control points will still continue. The uh, question is, are we going to still uh, do the uh, checkpoints? No, uh, The way I look at it, status quo is still in Mandawi City, despite the downgrade to MGCQ, strict guidelines will still be implemented. These include the use of quarantine passes, implementation of curfew hours from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., number coding scheme, and observance of market schedules. Essential na travel mo adto sa merkado kay Paliton, bringing with them their quarantine pass. So, kinahanglan niya po ng quarantine pass karon nga nag-MGCQ ta diri sa Dark Bens, Mandawi. City officials reminded Mandawihanons not to be complacent. Yeah, karon nga nagkaubos itong kaso, medyo mo action po o complacent o uh, relax ang mga tao. And uh, mere uh, kung ano, gamay nga uh, sipyat karon panahon na pwede yun mo saka o balik ang atong kaso. In Lapu-Lapu City, with the city now under MGCQ, there's a big possibility that tourism-related businesses can operate, but only at 50% of its capacity. Lapu-Lapu City Mayor Jonard Ahong Chan said that with the downgrading of the city's quarantine status to MGCQ, they hope that tourism operations in the city will bounce back. The city will still be strictly implementing a number coding for vehicles, use of quarantine passes, and restrictions for senior citizens and those below 21 years old. The mayor added that the city will allow the entry of foreign workers like the Chinese nationals who work in MEPS and POGO workers. But their entry to Lapu-Lapu City will still be based on the IATF guidelines. Anyway, uh, secured man, after arrival, they will do the, the PCR test, no? the swab test, sa ato ang airport as long na di can follow the the the, the health protocol no uh, what's the the IATF required them pwede na siya in Talisay City, Mayor Sam Samgulias wants to implement a thrice-week market schedule. He is also set to talk with Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia and Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella to reopen the N. Bacalso Avenue in Barangay Bulacao to ease the flow of vehicles coming from the southern part of the province going to Cebu City. Establishments in Talisay City will be allowed to operate within 50 to 75 percent of its capacity. Maybe i Monday to Friday na po na mabalik ang mong trabaho din eh. Wala na Friday na for disinfection. Disinfection will be on the weekends. Um, I have talked to Gov Gwen. I'll talk to Cebu City regarding fully opening the Bulacao border um, as far as upwards and workers are concerned. Yes, CJ, while all areas in Metro Cebu and in the province are under MGCQ, the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board is still regulating the resumption of the operation of the public utility jeepneys. In the cities of Mandawe and Cebu, PUJs are not allowed. CJ? Thank you. Luan Mayrondina.